Hello and welcome back to The Naked Analyst. I'm Steve Bennett and today I'd like to talk about the difference between analytics and big data. Now in my mind there are three primary differences, all of them fairly subtle to those outside of our field. The first difference is that big data is more of everything, more volume, greater velocity or speed of change and greater variety of formats than analytics has traditionally covered in general. So the first difference is one of scale, measured by the three dimensions, volume, velocity, and variety, which is more of everything. The second difference is technology. As an analyst, you will have to master different tools and techniques to understand big data. Now, don't get me wrong, analytics and big data share a lot in common, but your toolkit will be different. A good analogy is to imagine the difference between um, the way that someone like me blogs versus blogs made by the likes of the New York Times or Wall Street Journal. I'm a one-man band. I do this out of love. A Wall Street blogger will have a whole team behind them. They'll have researchers, a producer, graphics people, etc., as well as the resources of a billion-dollar organization. The final difference is one of hype. The exponential growth of data in recent years has required us to develop new tools and techniques in order to keep analytics useful. And in any rapidly growing market, organizations, i.e. vendors, will rush to meet this demand. In this rush, they will often hype to the market how different they are from the old solutions. They will make out that big data changes everything and that companies need to throw out their old technology and replace it with their new and, of course, expensive solutions. Of course, the truth is somewhat more complex. And that is a discussion I will leave until the next episode. Well, that's it for episode four of The Naked Analyst. Until next time, goodbye.